In this video, we will talk about the rectangular grid tool, which sits right here underneath the spiral tool. And this tool is great for creating tables and unfortunately is really well, seldomly used by people who create tables inside Illustrator. So let's briefly take a look at what we can do with this rectangular grid tool. So first of all, the way it works is uh, if you just click and drag, you will see that you are creating kind of like a rectangular grid just like so. Well, my grid right now, since I've been playing around with it, has only one of the horizontal divider and one, two, three, four, five, six uh, vertical dividers. However, I can quickly change that situation either by pressing the up or down arrow to add um, the horizontal dividers just like so to create a table that is going to look just like that. So we are kind of like uh, simulating Excel right here. And if I press the down arrow, I am going to decrease the number of uh, horizontal dividers just like so. So up, uh, up arrow to increase number of horizontal dividers and down arrow to decrease the number of uh, horizontal dividers. And if I press uh, the left arrow, just like so, you can see that I'm decreasing uh, the, the amount of vertical dividers. So my table looks uh, kind of like this. And if I press the right arrow, you can see that I am adding the vertical dividers. So my uh, my cells are kind of like, um, well, uh, vertical rectangles, just like so. So if you want to play around with the amount of the uh, with the amount of the well cells inside your your grid you can uh, press the up uh, arrow key or the down arrow key to to increase the number of uh, horizontal dividers and the left or right to increase or decrease the number of vertical dividers just like so and notice that as soon as i uh, let go of my mouse uh, illustrator is creating a group so all the, the this whole uh, grid is uh, is a group now, this will have um, some further implications, but uh, we will talk about it uh, in just a second. For now, let's uh, focus on creating just the grid. So, if you want to have more precision when creating your grid, here's what you can do. You can again simply, with the rectangular grid uh, tool selected, click on the artboard, just like so. And we can set uh, the width and the height of our um, grid. So I'm simply going to maybe this time go with, well, let's maybe make it a square. So I'm going to go with 450 by 450, just like so. And in here, you can see that we can set the number of horizontal dividers and number of vertical dividers, just like that. So uh, let me just play around with it. Maybe I'm going to enter 10. And for the vertical, I'm going to go with uh, 15. Why not? And if I uh, press OK. Illustrator is creating the grid based on what I just uh, well told it to do. So the practical benefits of using this technique lies uh, well lie I think maybe in this skew options right here. So let's say that you want to create uh, like a real table that has some uh, headers or some some like uh, top cells for entering some uh, description for your for your data. So let's say that I'm going to need just one row that is going to uh, well uh, hold um, those those descriptions. So what I would do is I would simply enter one as the horizontal divider. I'm going to go with 15. So you're going to have 15 columns, just one row. And now if we move to this uh, skew option right here, uh, what this does is, uh, maybe it's a bit counterintuitive, but let me just quickly explain it to you. If you just move this slider to the left, it's going to mean that, uh, uh, well, you, you're moving it essentially to the bottom. It's going to mean that uh, in this case, one row is going to go up. And if we have, uh, maybe let's, let's, uh, let's uh, enter some more rows. I'm going to go with five and I'm going to go with uh, this minus 400% uh, and uh, the slider moved to, to the left to the bottom. So I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, it uh, it is a bit counterintuitive because we can see that our rows are kind of like moved to the top, don't you think? So again, I'm going to delete it, press uh, and then click uh, on my artboard, go with just one, just like so, and then I'm going to click OK. Now you can see that it kind of, well, has a bit more sense. I mean, well, this uh, um, this top part could be something like our top uh, top row for, for some descri uh, description, and we would put our data inside inside our columns uh, just like here we can of course move it around just like so and play around uh, with the size just like that now of course the same is going to apply with our uh, vertical dividers if i go with 10 and if i just go with zero here and if i move this guy to the left and then click ok you can see that my 
uh, that my well uh, columns in this case are moved to the left. And again, the practical benefit of using this uh, the, the the rectangular grid tool options would be to move um, well to to skew it to the left, but to just make one create one uh, vertical divider just like so. And if I click OK, you can see that I got this left uh, left column where I could. Uh, uh, well, paste in or, or type in uh, some descriptions of the data that is uh, on the right. Now, I told you before that there are some implications to the fact that this is a group. If I now want to ungroup it, uh, well, okay, <laughs> I want to ungroup it, so I'm just going to use the Control Shift plus G on my keyboard. You might uh, think that we are going to get uh, these many uh, these many squares or rectangles. However, we are going to get a frame and some simple lines, just like so. If you want to have uh, like um, many uh, many rectangles, we need to use the Pathfinder tool for that. Uh, I know that we haven't used it before, but I'm pretty sure you are familiar with the Pathfinder. If not, we are quickly go going to talk about it. So I got all these guys right here. Of course, they can be um, they can remain as a group if you want. To. So I got all these guys and if I go to uh, the window menu and then I'm going to go to Pathfinder. Uh, I have it docked in right here but if you don't you can go to the window uh, menu and then Pathfinder. I'm going to go with this, uh, with this divide option right here just like so. And now you can still that uh, you, you can see that the, it still is a group but now if I ungroup it now I can play around with these uh, these elements uh, separately. So Illustrator has actually divided all these elements into separate separate rectangles. So a thing to remember when playing around with the rectangular grid tool is that you can uh, change the number of both horizontal and vertical dividers by pressing the up or down arrow keys, just like so. And of course, if you wanna, if you want your uh, grid to look a bit more uh, like proportionate, or to have them uh, well a better looking um, uh, grows, uh, rows and uh, columns, simply play around with the options right here, which you can access by pressing uh, while clicking once on the artboard. And I'm gonna go back to its normal state, zero, just like so, and go with ten right here, then ten right here, and I'm gonna change. Uh, the size to 300 by 300 and as you can see right now our uh, grid looks uh, a bit more like a proper grid just like that. So in the next video we are going to talk about the polar grid uh, tool which is great for creating uh, charts. So if you're interested in that, uh, well just keep watching.